Alexander Morris, you are indeed back among the living. Please come up here so I may tell you about your future in service of history. You are in the future from your perspective, around 300 years or so, if you're curious. We are Chronotech, and through the research and efforts of our founder, Dr. Ranier Cole, we have made time travel not only possible, but practical. It's a recent innovation. Dr. Cole took his first trip 20 years ago, and we are very careful in our travels. We use it only for research. 
But what a fantastic gift. The mysteries alone we've solved. Chronotech travelers witnessed monoliths being raised at Stonehenge. Another team discovered why the Mayan civilization disappeared. We've discovered and learned so much. But with the power of time travel comes the responsibility of protecting history. Dr. Cole is a fanatic about this. It's one of the reasons we call him the father of time. He knew changing history would be dangerous and foolish. Together, the goals of discovery and protecting history form the prime objective of Chronotech. Keeping that in mind, there have been some very disquieting developments. First, Dr. Cole is missing. I fear the very father of time is lost somewhere, some time out there. Second, we are identifying certain historical events out of place and certain people being put suddenly in harm's way. We discover new anomalies every day and we can't find the cause or connection. I can explain neither Dr. Cole's absence nor the changes we've been seeing, but I have a strong hunch they're related somehow. That's where you come in, Alexander Morris. You will be sent to different places in their times of great strife and change, charged with saving those people facing an untimely end. You are the perfect candidate to help our cause, and I'm sure you'd like to show your gratitude for being rescued from certain death. There's more you need to know, and you must have some questions. For the answers, step into the portal and meet the man who will help you along in your quests. Agent Dexter. I guess you're the fucking new guy, huh? Now you got some work to do, and I think you should start with some weapons training. Things are a bit different these days. We're sending you out with a rifle and a pistol. Depending on when you're headed, you'll be issued the right guns for that time. You can only carry two guns at a time, but you can pick up any gun you might find. See if you can sight in that old boy. Well done. I think you have the right idea. For a quick reload, fire again when it flashes green. If you miss it, your weapon jams up and it takes even longer. You can zoom in a bit with the weapon's sights and get a more accurate shot. Let's see you put that to work. You got that not too bad. But out there they don't stand still. Hit some moving targets. You can keep at this as long as you want, but no matter how many targets you knock down, you ain't winning the big stuff bunny. These are standard issue stick grenades. Just aim and let them fly. Toss a couple out there and see if you can take out old Hans. Hot damn, just like a big old firecracker. Toss a few more if you like. Old Hans will keep on coming back. Remember, they can throw them at you too. All right, son. I think you figured out them grenades. We might run across some artillery, so let's get you checked out on the big guns. You can change the cannon's aim from left to right and adjust the angle of the trajectory to dial in the range. Be patient and plan ahead. You can't swing this thing around like a 20 gauge. Let's get you checked out on the map system. Bring up your map and take a look. The icon indicates your location. Those circles are your objectives. 
Enemy locations, when we know where they are, are marked in red. There's a couple of things you need to know. First of all, there are certain people that need to survive. They'll be surrounded by a blue aura. If you kill them, it knocks the time stream all cattywampus. That brings all sorts of unwanted attention. It'll get you killed faster than shit through a goose. To neutralize them, aim for the legs. Shoot for their shoulders. Just don't kill them. There's another way to take out the blue aura enemies. A new experimental weapon called chasers. Unleash these glowing little gremlins and they'll seek out enemies with blue auras, knocking them unconscious and taking them out of the battle while keeping them alive. Be careful with these. You gotta be within throwing distance for them to do their job. You'll pick up the rest as we go, but just remember, don't kill the guys with blue auras. I'm gonna try to keep you from making the big stupid, but the rest is on you. Stay in line, follow officer's orders, and keep your head down. Get ready for war, son. Welcome back, Morris. Dexter, I'm assuming your training session went well? Yes, ma'am. I ran his rear through the gear and he seems to be gripping gravel. Very well. After consulting with the Chronotech time stream monitors, I've isolated two individuals in immediate danger. Joseph Welsh is a soldier in the Union Army in the United States Civil War. He's supposed to be away from the action, working as a supply clerk, but he's suddenly been moved to the front lines. Our other target is Captain Petrovich, a Russian officer in World War I. He and his troops should stay together through the war, but they're now in the path of a crushing German counterattack at Tannenberg. If either Welsh or Petrovich meets an untimely end, the repercussions could be far-reaching. Rescue them from their current crisis, and our reintegration team will get them back to their time period safely. Dexter, have you prepared mission briefings? Yes, ma'am. I've prepared mission strategies and maps and loaded them to the view screen up there. Then I'll leave both of you to your business and look forward to your successful return. Well, you got a choice to make. Where are we going? This is during the opening days of World War I at Tannenberg. 